so we have 10 questions left in uh, file one so we are mistakenly skip this question from the test clock center uh, center so i have to just come to the end of the video so i could just read it out to us in unit from uh you see this unit was born at of uh, uh 41st week so up to 41 week of 41 and that is already time that is a, a, a new unit at time delivered at time but you notice that they were growth retardations skin is uh, flaccid subcutaneous fat cellular tissue is thin uh, muscle hypotonia and so on how would you estimate this child so this is a tab in fact with prenatal growth retardation you can see the weight is 2450 centimeter long normal bed weight is supposed to be 2700 up to uh, 4.2 kg so this two for this is yet at time so this is time in fact with uh, prenatal growth retardation not premature it's for the first week so all right let's continue this question nine the child was taken to hospital with uh focal signs focal changes in the skin fold the child was anxious during examination examination revealed dry skin with solitary papillous elements and ill defined leech and equation zones um skin eruption was accompanied by strong age the child usually feels better in summer so when i tell you about period or things and different things just know that it is atopic dermatitis atopic dermatitis atopic dermatitis a child also has the grandmother by his mother's side has bronchial asthma so what's most likely that this is atopic dermatitis all these things are allergic martial okay what is the complex assessment of the child's physical development they're asking us is he harmonious disharmonious and so on uh, well i feel in the exam is either going to be harmonious or disharmonious but how do we know i i just look at these parameters you see none of them is greater than minus one and none is greater than plus one you can see 0 0.36 plus 0 0.96 none of them is above one and when it is not up to one it is harmonious let's just take it like that it's harmonious a child is seven months old birth weight is three four fifty child is best so a submental feeding was introduced on time and if it is greater than one it will be disharmonious so we just to add to that determine the daily protein requirements uh, for this child so we last time from this question that is supposed to be uh, three grams per kg all right two weeks after recovering from angina uh angina an eight-year-old boy developed a matter of face and lower limbs you can see oligoyuria uh dark urine coloration uh urinalysis you can see relative density relative normal protein urea red blood cells are leached and cover the whole field of vision so we are right now we are talking about nephritic syndrome what is the most likely diagnosis? This is a condition of uh, this is a prostreptococcal glomerulonephritis. So this is acute glomerulonephritis with nephritic syndrome. This is the correct answer with nephritic uh, syndrome. So there's no need to be saying it's nephritic. Then there's immaterial. No, no, no. You don't literally when you are talking about nephritic syndrome, you just go with it at once. So this nephritic uh, syndrome. 14 year old child suffers from uh, vegetal vascular dystonia of pubertal period. It's got sympathetic adrenal attack. The child is having sympathetic adrenal attack. What do you do? You give a beta blocker. The best thing to give in such conditions of this kind of patient is uh, a, a propanador, and that is by this name, Obsidan. In this case, Obsidan. Okay, they are asking us what family does poliomyelitis, poliovirus belongs to? Poliovirus is a pico RNA virus. So let's just the pico RNA. VRT, VRT. Four months old child fell seriously ill. Body temperature rose to 38.8. We'll see a single vomiting. Single vomiting. It's, uh, I'm sure we are thinking towards something right now affecting the brain. Ten hours later, there appeared rash over the buttox and lower limbs. Rash over the buttox and lower limbs are in form of petechial rash. Typically points our attention in priority to meningococcemia. Meningococcemia. You see, necrosis at the center. Also, meningococcemia. Five year old child has strong headache, vomiting, ataxia, and so on. You see, 
What disease complicated encephalitis? We've been talking about this since that chicken pox or paricella has complication called encephalitis. So this chicken pox. And the last question in five one before we continue five two also we should be expecting that this evening. A 13 year old girl was admitted to the cardiology department because of pain in the muscles and joints. Examination of her face will be edematic for the, the moment we have butterfly. But the butterfly flies over systemic lupus erythematosus. So that's that for now.